The next topic here is Bud Chiari syndrome. Bud Chiari syndrome is very simple to understand. Now, this is liver. There are three big hepatic veins going. This is IVC. Okay. If there is obstruction here at the level of hepatic veins or at the level of IVC, what will happen? There will be hepatomegaly or you can say a tender hepatomegaly will be there. Why? Because the there, there is outflow obstruction. The inflow from portal vein and hepatic artery is coming, but there is outflow obstruction. So, there will be hepatomegaly along with that there will be ascites and it is occurring because of obstruction to uh, obstruction at the level of hepatic vein or IVC. Well, hepatic venous thrombosis or IVC thrombosis generally. Okay. Now, what is the most common etiology? Now, the most common etiology here is polycythemia vera. Polycythemia vera is the most common etiology here and uh, what is the most common cause of Bacchiari syndrome in western countries because of hepatic venous thrombosis. Okay. So, overall Bacchiari syndrome can occur due to both hepatic venous thrombosis or IVC obstruction. In western countries, it is mainly seen because of hepatic venous thrombosis and most common cause of Bacchiari syndrome in India is IVC obstruction. Okay, both I, I, this is India and IVC obstruction. Okay. Now, there is a tender hepatomegaly and ascites. So, this is the triad of Bacchiari syndrome. The triad is ascites, hepatomegaly, and abdominal pain. This goes by the mnemonic ASHA. Okay. The triad of Bacchiari syndrome is ascites, hepatomegaly and abdominal pain. And in IVC obstruction, there is presence of pedal edema. In IVC obstruction, the pedal edema is also noted. Okay. So, this is regarding the uh, say, Bacchiari syndrome. Now, what is the difference between a Bacchiari syndrome caused by hepatic venous obstruction and IVC obstruction? So, we all know that uh, I, uh, the caudate lobe, it drains directly into the IVC, whereas the other uh, segments like for example, the right lobe through the right hepatic vein or the middle vein and the left lobe through the left hepatic vein and the middle vein, they are draining. If there is hepatic venous obstruction, so whole of the liver will be congested and the, gradually for a long standing obstruction, it will be atrophied. But this caudate is draining directly into the IVC. So, there it will not be affected and rather than being affected, there will be a compensatory hypertrophy noted in the caudate lobe. Okay. So, if the but Chiari syndrome is occurring because of hepatic venous thrombosis, then the caudate lobe is paired. Okay. And there will be caudate lobe hypertrophy. And on scintigraphy, 
it will show as a central hotspot sign. On scintigraphy, it will show as a central hotspot sign. Okay. Now, what is the investigation of choice? Here is venography. or vena cava graphy and we see a spider web collateral here we see a spider web collaterals here very easy now suppose if there is a bartieri syndrome and the patient presents to us within uh, first week or second week then we are going to do thrombolysis and along with that we are going to start anticoagulants the same that we are doing in dvt and if a patient presents to us late or if there is no response to thrombolysis and then we will have to go for surgical shunt options the most commonly performed shunt in these patients is side to side portocable shunt okay these side to side portocable shunt it helps in patients with hepatic venous thrombosis in ivc thrombosis in majority of the cases it is because of a ivc membrane so a transcardiac membraneotomy is performed and uh, otherwise we can do excision with grafting okay so this is the treatment so if uh, the treatment is thrombolysis if present in 2 weeks along with that we will start anticoagulants and shunt surgery in hepatic venous thrombosis sspc side to side portocable shunt is the choice in ivc if because of ivc membrane then transcardiac membraneotomy is the preferred treatment then the transcardiac membraneotomy is the preferred treatment if fails then excision of the membrane with grafting can be done sometimes there is hepatic venous thrombosis and ivc membrane both or ivc obstruction okay in these cases suppose if this is ivc there is obstruction this is liver there is hepatic venous thrombosis this is portal vein this is ivc behind we can perform side to side portocable shunt here which will bypass the hepatic vein but the problem is there is ivc obstruction so in these cases we will have to do a cavo atrial shunt also along with that okay to bypass this ivc okay so in this case we'll have to do a sspcs and along with that we'll have to do a cavo atrial shunt okay if there is liver failure go for liver transplantation the next 